An SUV slams into two bicyclists in southeast Portland and takes off. The cyclist killed was a local college student and the suspect is an 18 year old. Good evening. Thanks a lot for being with us. I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Deborah Knapp. K2's Erica Nochlin talked to the 17 year old bicyclist who survived. She joins us live where the crash took place, 87th and Division. So, Erica, how is he doing? Well, 17 year old Kevin Foma says he's sore, but he's doing okay. He and his sister are pretty emotional, thinking about what could have happened to him and what actually did happen to the other cyclists. They even came here late this afternoon to leave flowers here at the crash site. The damage to Kevin Foma's bike is minimal. His body now only a little sore. The memory of what he saw early this morning is causing him the most pain. Imagine I kind of hit the ground pretty hard. Um, after I just got on the ground, I just essentially just got back up to see how the other guy was doing. Could you tell right away that he wasn't going to make it? Yeah, it was very, it was very grim. It was very morbid. The other cyclist, 28-year-old Dustin Finney of Portland, someone FOMA didn't even know. I feel for the family of the other cyclist. Um, I'm also angry on how just people are, and like how heartless people can be. The man accused of driving the SUV that hit them is 18-year-old Ashwante Roseman. Police arrested him this morning on several charges, including manslaughter and driving under the influence. FOMA says he could tell the driver had been drinking or on drugs. It could have been that they were just intoxicated and just swerving a lot. Otherwise, um, it did feel like um, the driver was directly in the bike lane. Other cyclists who come through here say drunken drivers are a constant problem. I just think that people just don't pay attention. They're having too good a time drinking. The city of Portland does have a plan in the works to at least help with some of the problems that pedestrians and cyclists face here. They plan to put a new signal here at 87th and Division that will also have a crosswalk. They say this pedestrian bridge over here just isn't enough. People don't use it and it's not wheelchair accessible. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Erica Nochlin, K2 News. It just seems like just about every day now we're hearing a, a bike car accident uh, somewhere around town. But Erica, we'll follow this one. Thank you for that.